Hey guys, what's up? My name is Gabe and this is Games with Gabe and this is the first episode in the C++ for Java C Sharp developers. Now, why should you follow this tutorial series rather than the several others out there, the Chernos among some of the best? Well, basically I'm gonna treat you as a developer, okay? I know you know how to program. I'm not gonna take time to explain how an if statement works or a while statement or how what true and false is and all these different things because I am assuming you know what they are already. So we will be able to progress much more quickly through the language, learn how it works, and hopefully get you started very quickly. The plan is to have 10 episodes. Uh, these 10 episodes will cover the basics of C++. Now, these episodes will cover compiling and linking, which is the first two episodes, okay? The first episode will be Windows. The second episode will be Linux. And I can't do Mac because I don't have a Mac, so I'm sorry about that, but hopefully somebody will show the proper compiler switches to use on a Mac. The second episode will be headers and linking. So this will go over the different ways you can use a header, what declaration is, what definitions are, how to use uh, the linker and how to specify different linker options. The third episode will talk about preprocessor directives. So what does hash include? What is hash if define, if not define? What is hash define? How to use them, how to create macro arguments, all sorts of stuff with preprocessors. The fourth episode, we'll talk about make, CMake, pre-make, all the different build systems, okay? We'll talk about what they are, why they are needed, which hopefully will be illustrated through the episodes leading up to that point. And then we'll talk about how to use CMake to actually create some build files in a build system. And then we'll start using Visual Studio instead of Visual Studio Code, which we will use for the first few episodes. In part five, we will be doing structures and namespaces. So we'll talk about what a structure is, what a namespace is, how to use them in C++, C++ to organize your code in a better manner than just simply plopping everything down in the global namespace. And we'll talk about all that stuff, what it is, how to use it. Part six will be about pointers. Part seven will be about references, okay? Uh, I feel like I don't need to say much there because those are huge topics. They are very difficult when you're first learning to code and I'll go over each of them in turn with their own episode each. Part eight will be all about memory management, okay? How do you use alloc? How do you use free? What are they? What are, how do you use this to fill pointers with data? How do you free that data? How do you make sure you're not leaking memory? All that stuff we will cover in one quick episode which will hopefully get us started to use C++ in a more advanced manner by actually allocating memory and doing some cool tricks with pointers and all sorts of stuff. Part nine will be devoted to the static keyword, okay? In Java and C Sharp, the static keyword means one thing. In C++, it means three things. We will talk about the three different usages of the static keyword, how you can use them in each scenario, and how this can benefit your code in several different ways. And then finally, in part 10, we will talk about type def and using function pointers. I felt like this was a good way to end the beginner series for C++. This will basically discuss what a function pointer is, how you can use it as an argument for callbacks and stuff. And uh, we'll also talk about what type def is because you do need that in order to use a function pointer. Now, notice I did not say classes at all. <laughs> C++ is mainly C with classes, but it's not. There is so much stuff in C++ that C does not have. And that's why I think you can learn a lot about C++ and not learn classes and still be using C++ rather than C. So we're going to learn a very small subset of the language. This is going to be like a C-like syntax of the language with some added benefits like namespaces, which are not available in C and like using statements and stuff like that. Pragma, which you don't have in C. In the next 10 episodes, which I'm going to devote to sort of like an intermediate C++ tutorial series, we'll talk about type things like classes and templates and all that stuff, which starts to build upon this foundation. This is really just the foundation of C++. I think a lot of people go too quickly into talking about stuff like shared pointers, smart pointers, pointers, recursion, whatever. I throw recursion in there just because pointers and recursion are two tough things in programming. But anyways, we will take this slowly. We will talk about the basics, the foundation, the things that will stay true no matter what for years on end. And that is what this whole basics of C++ series is about. So I hope you guys will join me for this. And I am looking forward to going over all these topics and explaining them and hopefully shedding some light on it for you guys. Now, I'll see you in the first episode, which is compiling files in Windows, which is harder than you might think. So I'll see you guys there.